wanna know is secret. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to do GUI tweening. There's lots of different ones you can do, so I'll show you them all. And first, insert a new object, screen GUI into starter GUI. And you're going to want to insert a frame or whatever the thing that you're tweening. It has to be in starter GUI. So I'm just going to go ahead and centralize mine. Gotta make it all colourful here and there because you know OCD, OCD life. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this fairly long, so then I will insert another frame and we can use the second frame that I insert between along this bar that I've created. Go ahead and make that a bit smaller. Oh, not that small centralize it right now we're going to want to insert a new script so I'm going to first I'm going to add a border and then now I want to insert a new local script so right click on the frame and insert a new object local script you can remove the print hello world so we're going to start off with script.parent because the frame is what we want to do the GUI tweening to and we're going to put a colon and then tween position And then we're going to put brackets and then UDIM2, not UDIM, but UDIM2 dot new and then parentheses, which is two brackets. Now, we are going to test out the position where we want to tween it to. So I'm going to make it go to the end of the track. So we want to find the perfect position for that. So I always advise moving in workspace where you want it to go before typing in the number into the script so I'm going to try and get it to the end for 30 there we go so we know that's going to go to 0 for 30 0 15 we'll go ahead and type that in 0 comma 50 and for 30 comma 0 and then another comma 15 now we're going to do the rest of it so first we have a choice of out or in so well I'll show you both but we'll start with out so we want to put another comma in there and then I'm going to show you all the different types of GUI tweenings there are so we have quart quint linear bounce sign, elastic, back and quad. So we can use any of them in the next inverted commas that we're going to do. So I'll choose bounce, go and put that in there and close inverted commas, do another comma and now how long, how many seconds we want it to take. So we'll say four relatively slowly to show you what happens. Then comma, true, close the brackets. I'll just go ahead and wait there so it doesn't happen straight away. So there we can see it tweens across the screen and bounces on the other side. Now I'm going to show you if you put it to one second you can see how much quicker it is. The animation speeds up. That's very fast. Right, now I'm going to show you I'm going to change that back to 4 and I'm going to show you how it is when you do it to in so we just want to copy and paste this line because there's only one thing we need to change to it and we want to change the out to in and we also want to change the 430 to 0 as we want to go back to the starting position 
we're going to add in a weight there because you should always do the weight how many seconds first animation is taken before you do the second one so the first one can finish so this one will now tween to the right and once that's finished tweening it will now tween back again in a reverse animation because this is now in the first one was out, second one was in now if you want to try another one so elastic actually goes out of the constrictions of what we've chosen but it'll always end up back at the original position values that we've assigned so you'll see when I do it now it actually elasticates out of the boundary and then goes to where we said it should go and it does the uh, same in reverse that's pretty much GUI tweening if this video helped you then please uh, be sure to hit that like button and uh, of course if you've got anything you want to see me to do in the future just leave a comment now here are all of the GUI tweenings at once I've left a link in description to the Roblox model so you can uh, grab your own copy I want to type in game dot workspace dot the sound